was at the brink of being overwhelmed by an invasive plant known as Opuntia angelomani, a prickly pear belonging to the cactus family. The invasive plant had claimed large tracts of land as it spread by elephants and baboons that feed on its fruit. But the once aggressive plant that threatened pasture that is dependent on by a number of animals has been put under control after the conservancy is started to generate clean energy that is used for cooking. Sharon Baranga met with conservation officers at the Conservancy and filed the following report. Loisaba Conservancy has been invaded by some uh, invasive species that is Opuntia agelmani. The Opuntia agelmani has uh, uh, taken up uh, quite a big land within Loisaba. So the management uh, explored ways of uh, managing that particular invasive species. And uh, part of what we do is production of biogas. In producing the biogas, the raw material is the opuntia itself that is collected in the field by people who've been trained on the best way to harvest it. They carry it using um, some wheelbarrows to the place whereby uh, the digester is. In the digester, uh, there is a process whereby you uh, identify how many uh, loads of wheelbarrows that you're going to put into the crusher. So the person who is in charge of that particular uh, pro project uh, kind of uh, collects the opuntia and puts it uh, on, uh, on the crusher. The crusher has an opening at the top whereby uh, that opuntia gets crushed to some um, semi-solid form, uh, that is called slag. Basically, the water helps in the crushing process. Eh? Uh, we have the solid opuntia, that has been collected and put in the crusher. So the water uh, softens uh, the opuntia that is being crushed into a pulp. Lasla feeds into the digester of the biogas. So uh, the digester has uh, uh, a prefabrication system in which uh, the sla gets inside and the biodigestion process or fermentation kicks off. Uh, the product, the uh, crushing is done daily. Uh, the fermentation uh, will take uh, possibly a week because this is the previous material that is already inside that particular digester. The gas that is generated, that is methane gas, is channeled to the kitchen whereby it's used for cooking purposes uh, for our staff who are reside near the site where the biologista is. Uh, there is also a byproduct that comes out in form of a uh, liquid form that is used uh, in the kitchen because it's really kind of organic fertilizer. And uh, the gas, uh, the gas uh, helps in running the kitchen for seven hours a day, uh, whereby our staff who reside in, that, in this area uh, are well fed and also they commend the project for helping reduce the 
acreage under which uh, Opuntia is in Loisaba Conservancy. We also recognize that there is clean energy uh, that uh, doesn't bring any harm to the environment. We also appreciate the fact that quite uh, a substantial acreage since 2019 when the project was started has been uh, freed from Opuntia gel money and we're looking forward to uh, uh, replicating the same project to our communities across the Loisaba conservancies who would also uh, establish the same project in their areas given that uh, the in invasive species has taken quite a bit of the community land too and uh, in the long term it becomes an ecological disaster uh, taking up uh, the grazing space, taking up uh, the uh, outcompeting the natural uh, vegetation that is uh, uh, that, that, that is in this area. The spread of uh, the invasive species all over is uh, attributed to one, its wildlife, elephants uh, and baboons. They feed on the fruits of the opuntia. And that being the case, they help in dispersal of that particular plant because of the movement patterns within the landscape. And then uh, normally introduced species are very aggressive in conquering eh, the, eh, the, the natural species that are found in a particular habitat. It's taken over a couple of thousand acres of, of land that was uh, prime grazing land um, and is really beginning to alter the ecology. Um, but it has been spread by all sorts of animals. It's a plant that originates from southern United States actually and came into the country in the 50s. Uh, so we're dealing with it by removing it mechanically and we also uh, have a biocontrol that's recently been uh, licensed for, for, for um, for engaged into the, into the environment by the KEFIS uh, uh, protocols in Nairobi and we'll be releasing that uh, cochineal bug that will actually eventually control the Apuntia. Uh, so it's a two-pronged attack between manual and biological control. And Apuntia affects not just Aloy Saba, it's right across the Mogogoda area of Lake Kipia. We're seeing it in Sava in, in southern Kenya, right down to Kipsing, so it's a big problem and we're trying to engage in methodology to remove it. <laughs>